Hello, I am presenting our paper, AI in the Public Eye, Investigating Public AI Literacy Through AI Art. In this paper, we are concerned with the potential for the arts to offer alternative and novel approaches to developing AI literacies, specifically public AI literacies, and with what AI developers and scientists might learn from this. There is an urgent need to develop critical literacies and for, the, and for fresh perspectives on the kinds of literacies we need. Various narratives abound in the news, while different types of generative AI have been proposed as tools in the workplace and indeed all over our public and private lives. We have seen the emergence of AI in the domain of the arts, such as DALI and Midjourney and the beginnings of organised pushback to this. The intersection of AI and art has a long history, and yet to date the arts have been underrepresented in the domain of AI education and literacy. Studies of critical AI art have investigated the socio-political and ethical dimensions of creating AI art. The arts provide a space for critical interrogation of emerging technologies both building and challenging our understanding of them. Artists bring a creative curiosity and a certain freedom to invert or propose new perspectives. By testing the limits of these technologies, while also exposing the very mechanisms by which they operate, the arts can help us to question their promises and risks. While a lot of current approaches centre on explicating the technical workings of these systems or analysing the power dynamics which shape them, our study takes an experiential approach. We do so in the setting of the new real, an experimental approach to collaborations between artists and multidisciplinary researchers working on AI, which funds AI artists and supports their creative inquiries. In enabling development of artworks, it also facilitates new perspectives and framings of AI. The ambition for the group is to support the creation of significant artworks and to inspire new concepts and paradigms for fair and inclusive AI. Particularly here, we discuss findings from three workshops conducted during the initial phase of the project. Working along, alongside AI artists Anna Riddler, Caroline Sinders and Jake Elwes, who were part of a two-year collaboration with The New Real. We set out in this study to understand the artists' motivations, conceptualizations, approaches and strategies for designing interactive artworks, with a specific interest in understanding how these might be understood and what they might contribute as part of a literacy's practice. This took the form of three main research questions. What strategies do the artists employ to make artificial intelligence tangible and explicit in their work? What are their intentions concerning AI literacy? Could these sorts of artistic strategies offer a novel and distinct approach to building AI literacy? And how can knowledge exchange between artists and AI researchers inform framings of AI, potentially facilitating conceptual leaps? The workshops we conducted started with introductory talks from the artists, where they set out their previous works and their interests. We invited a broad range of discussants, including, but not limited to, explainable AI, moral philosophy, science and technology studies, design and robotics. We found that the artists we work with were particularly concerned with making visible the underlying structures and systems which constituted the artworks. In the words of Caroline, unpicking the whispers of the data appearing in the outcome itself. This idea of, as Anna puts it, opening systems up to the public. This involved revealing gaps in the data 
and materialising the hidden human labour. Our findings surfaced specific strategies and mechanisms. These include the use of defamiliarisation as a technique to shift and open new perspectives, employing uncanniness, creating objects in the uncanny valley of similar to, but not quite the same as, more familiar objects. The artists employed imagination, speculation and playfulness as ways into contemplation of broader concerns of ethics and political philosophy. A Trojan horse, as Caroline put it. All the artists viewed their artworks as part of an experiential journey that also includes a broader set of public engagement materials, lectures, political activism, writing and so on. With the artworks themselves even explicitly viewed as a pathway towards broader forms of engagement and pedagogy. The main novelty is in the experiential approach and a focus on embodied interactivity. If you want people to learn things, then you have to have them do things, not just watch. While at the same time, keeping the art pieces relatable and accessible. This offers one way to go beyond the limitations of more narrowly technical and sometimes reductive approaches to explainability and accountability. We found this kind of knowledge exchange can help artists and AI researchers to answer each other's questions, potentially facilitating conceptual leaps. Art, for instance, can illuminate situated and embodied meaning. It can help to connect work in the lab to real world applications and consequences. And it can foster both critical and poetic perspectives. So in summary, the contributions include an experiential approach to AI literacies, illuminating hidden dynamics, and facilitating ethical reflection. We've seen legacy for this work. The strategies for making AI explicit have been built on in the design of an experiential AI system. There has been policy adoption through the Alan Turing Institute in the UK. Further arts, arts commissioning and dissemination through the V&A in London, Ars Electronica in Linz and elsewhere and public engagement through many channels, including the Scottish AI Alliance. This paper has presented a novel study exploring the motivations and strategies of AI artists. All the artists considered a public literacy's dimension to be an integral and vital part of their artistic practice, not something external or secondary. We hope we can continue working with them and other artists in the next stages in our journey. Thank you.